today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of my glorious, sparkly little crystal babies. Some of them are raw, some of them are refined, some of them are decorative pieces, some of them are jewelry. So if you're someone who's into crystals, definitely keep on watching. What's up guys, my name is Savannah. I teach modern hippies how to live a natural and healthy lifestyle through science and mindfulness. This week at Blizzard Human, we are talking about crystals. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the collection that I currently have, and I'm also gonna be putting up on the screen some graphics about their supposed abilities. If you wanna know what I think about crystals having like special abilities or not, then check out this week's blog post down below. But for the sake of today's video, humor me please. I'm gonna be talking about them like they're my little babies or like they're a friend or something. Just let me be the crazy hippie that I am, okay? Some of them I bought for myself, some of them are gifts from friends. All of them are special to me and sometimes I feel like pulled or something by one of them and then I'll take it if it's small enough and carry it in my pocket or like in my bra. Comment below if you put crystals in your bra. I surely am not the only one who does that. There's gotta be crazy people out there like me. So right now I have the tinier pieces on the windowsills in my room. I have six windows so lots of rooms for those little babies and I'm going to show you those first then I'm going to show you some of the bigger pieces. I have a lot of amethyst and I have one giant amethyst piece which if you've ever been on my Instagram I love to take photos with. It's so gorgeous. It's like a 50 pound geode. I'm in love with it. So first is my selenite. I got this from my sister Tori and right next to it I have a cross with turquoise that my mom got me from a Native American store, I think. Or maybe she got it out in Albuquerque, I'm not sure. And then I've got this little effigy of Ellie that I kind of like put there for like symbolic protection next to the cross. And the selenite is known as like a moonstone. Um, it's really cool looking. It's got like these striations and it almost looks like glass, but I know that it's not because it's not quartz, because quartz is what glass is pretty much. And then next to my circle of sweetgrass, which I have right when you enter up the stairs to my room, um, kind of like a symbol of welcome, and also you can burn it if you see it's burned a little bit right here. I have this gorgeous amethyst baby, see if we can get it more in the light. Look at that sparkle. This one comes all the way from Uruguay, and I actually got it at Home Goods. Next, I have these three babies, and I kind of arrange my crystals in sets of three. I'm not sure why I do that, um, but this is How Light. Um, I got this at a fair of sorts. It's really cool. It's like marble looking. I've got this heart of rose quartz, which I've had since I was actually 16 years old. Um, I got it somewhere in Georgia. And then this is also something that I got as a kid, I believe. I'm not sure what it is, but um, it's this really pretty like green color. Um, I got this at Disney when I was a kid because I'm from Orlando. I went to Disney World a lot. I always begged my mom, like, please, 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 let me do that like rock pick out thing in the gift store that's like five dollars fill the bag with as many rocks as you can like i've always been obsessed with rocks and crystals and fossils and curiosities like that so i've had this since i was probably like seven years old and yeah it holds a lot of special memories over here i have an amethyst but it's not quite amethyst um it's got a little bit of a different type of stone in it if you can see that yellow in the middle this was a gift for my last birthday and I love it because my favorite shape is a hexagon and it's a hexagon. And I love that it's imperfect. Like if you can see the hexagon's not quite straight all the way and then there's that impurity, but I think that it's so beautiful and I love that it comes to a point. And then I keep it right here with um, this feather that I found. And then I, this is where I burn my incense. Don't mind how dirty it is, like I'm sorry. Next we have this gorgeous little lapis lazuli piece. I got it at a local place called creative energy and it's just so tiny but it's so magical like look at that natural blue so pretty and then over here I've got this smoky quartz from a geode that I broke open so that's like got special memories for me and then I've got this tiger's eye that I've also had since I was a kid like look at those striations so gorgeous and I keep those little babies next to my lotus purple lotus blossom candle tea light holder very on brand and that's next to this little amethyst piece that i got also from a local place called aquarian dreams and it's just so pretty i'm obsessed with anything in the quartz family and amethyst citrine clear quartz rose quartz like 
that's my fave. Over here is some amber that I've had since I was a child. Pretty cool amber is an organic type of rock. More selenite, so this is kind of like a baby version of the big one that I showed you first. I don't remember what this one is. It came with a chakra stone set that I got and it's supposed to be for the third eye. It's supposed to be like indigo. Um, I, if you know what this is, comment below. I'll try to figure it out. And then I've got this little tiny cauldron looking thing. It's really like meant to be for sugar. I am obsessed with like the little feet on it. Like how, see if I can get it to focus. Look how cute they are, they're like little flowers. Um, I got this at Goodwill for a dollar and I thought it would be really cool to burn my incense and sage and Palo Santo in. So that's what I do here. And then this also is a gift for my most recent birthday. It's an amethyst geode. Let's see if I can get in there. Look at the gorgeous like sedimentary layers that you can see. And then it's got that forming amethyst inside. And what I love about it is that nobody's ever gonna really be able to touch like all the way inside. Um, some people say that it mimics a certain uh, female organ. We're not gonna get into that, but yeah, I love this thing. Look at that. Look at the little baby teeths. Quick intermittent break. Pet the cat. She's a chonky. A chonky, chonky, chonky. So over here I have this. I think it's some sort of a gate. I've had this since I was a kid and I love the that you can see the sedimentary layers. Um, sorry about my nails, by the way. I really should have got them done before doing this video. Um, <laughs> um, this is an amethyst piece that I've had since I was a kid. I got it when digging out, like, um, panning for minerals in North Carolina, because that's, like, something that you do in North Carolina, apparently. This is something I also got at Creative Energy, the local shop. It's moss agate, and it just has this crazy-looking pattern that does actually, like, resemble moss. I really like it, and I like how weird the surfaces are, like... I've got this white candle that I burn sometimes when I'm meditating. And then over here, this came from my ex-roommate Jalen, if you're watching, holla. I love any time that you can see sedimentary layers and then like, look at how dark the crystals got on top. So that must mean that there's like some sort of impurity in there. And then like right here behind all my lovely clothes, I have another windowsill. This is Adventuring. It came in that chakra stone set that I was talking about. It's got a little chip off, which kind of sucks, but I love it. Um, love, love the sedimentary layers. This is Rhyolite, and it's so crazy looking. It kind of looks like a petri dish, in my opinion. And I love, no matter if like the stone is smooth or if like this rose quartz, it's rough and raw. Um, this was a gift, and look at that. It's kind of like almost clear quartz, not very pink, but I love it. I love all my little babies. Next to those, I've got this lavender salt in this cute little um, handmade dish basin that my friend Jen got for me. Thank you, Jen. And over here, I've got another little amethyst baby. Um, it's kind of thick right here. So because it's thick right here, I think that has something to do with the fact that these like crystal heads are bigger. I'm not sure. Comment below if you like know anything about geology. Moving on, we're gonna get into my jewelry pieces right now. I've got this cute little turquoise ring that I got at a farmer's market, and I also got this at the same farmer's market. It's Tiger's Eye, both with sterling silver. I love wearing these. They are so gorgeous. All right, so this is citrine. It's in the quartz family, so you know it's one of my favorites. It's this gorgeous amber, amber color, and it's like one of the tips trimmed off and then made into a necklace. Looks like that. I wear it a lot. This right here is black tourmaline. It's supposedly um, meant to thwart off negative energy. This is something very special. This is from my Chinese grandpa. It's a jade elephant and it's got um, a symbol here. I'm not sure if it means anything. And then I think it has like a ruby eye. I love it, it's so gorgeous. This is from my friend Sibony. These are little tiny jade spheres. So cute. This is a sapphire and diamond necklace from my mother. Sapphire is my birthstone. And I just think that it's, it's this rich, rich blue. I think that this is such a lovely gift and I love to wear it as often as possible. This here is from my friend, Anna. It's a gorgeous beaded amethyst piece. I mean, look at that. And then it has this matching necklace back here with this dope little pendant, like, bro. This is from Aquarian Dreams, the local store and it's adventuring. This is from my friend, Casey. It's a smoky quartz, kind of like, 
a metal lined, look how dope that is, geode necklace. And then from the local store, Creative Energy, I have this amazing lapis lazuli pendant. I almost forgot this one. This is a sapphire antique ring that my dad got me for Christmas two years ago. It's so delicate and gorgeous and I love it so much. I told him to get me something meaningful for Christmas and he got me my birthstone and an antique ring, which is right up my alley, so good job, dad. And finally, here is the big boy. Let's see if I can get it all nice and close for you. This thing is from my stepmother. She got it at, I think, a yard sale. Just look at how many facets there are in there, like, incredible. Oh, and how could I forget? This is a clear quartz pendant, also from my stepmom, that I got for Christmas from her. It's got seven different colors of uh, stones that are supposed to be, like, in order of the rainbow slash chakra system. The stones are made to look like leaves of a tree, which is super artistic and just so lovely. Um, this is a really clear, clear quartz, like, amazing. With that copper wiring, yes, queen. Look at this cutie right here. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it, and if you want to learn more about how to live a more natural, healthy, holistic lifestyle, check out one of these two videos right here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blissful day, and I'll see you in the next one.